You know what I do now at 45, being successful? I get up, in bed, scroll through TikTok, and I don't have to do anything till 11 o'clock. But guess what? That's a luxury because I'm rich. If you're not rich, you can't do that shit. So many people, they're giving these lists of things that you should do that are luxuries that are only afforded to the rich. How does that help someone that's broke? It's just like, I don't want to talk about Dirk. What's it like driving in your $800,000 car? Well, that's helpful to someone that's 20 and trying to figure out life, isn't it? How about instead I talk about the shit that I did dumb when I was 20 and maybe you shouldn't do it too maybe that makes more sense but that's not what social media is about that was Derek Fay on i guess luxuries afforded to the rich i like this video a lot because not so much and i understand this point where he was talking about saying i'm not going to talk to people that are broke about me driving my eight hundred thousand dollar car <clears throat> um i understand his point on that but i really like the point where he said so many people are trying to give uh they're trying to give advice to people that is only afforded to the rich something along those lines i really like this because so many people and i hear this and i get comments um and and i hear this all in my life is taking a break and i think it's not to say that i don't have a couple hours of break or an hour or something but there's people that completely slack off get home watch netflix play video games chill out have bum days whatever and there's people that do that almost their whole life and i thought about this because in a year i was able to buy three properties and i could have easily just played video games the whole year and not have gotten three properties because that would have been something afforded to the rich. That was some, that was my takeaway with the video, but Kirby, go ahead. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to say buckle up. Cause I got a lot from this video. Um, <laughs> I agree with every ounce of the video. First off, I'm going to go with the reason for this channel. Our channel was different from a lot of the other channels because a lot of the other channels want to flaunt their wealth and what they have and what they do and then try to convince you, uh, hey, you should be just like us. What we try to do is let you know that we've been in the grind, we're still in the grind, and we want to help you out of the grind. That's it. What you do with your luxuries are on you. I mean, you don't see us sitting here showing in. Everybody knows that I'm a foodie. I like food. You don't see me posting dinner plates and all that other crap. For what? That benefits nothing for somebody who don't have it. It brings jealousy and envy. Um, another part that he said about scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, and all that other stuff. FYI, I don't have only social media I have is dealing with this YouTube channel. I mean, I did used to have social media, but then I looked at my iPhone and I realized how much time I was spending wasting my time. Once somebody brought that to my attention. That's when I really went into overdrive and investing at a full wavelength of different from where I was at. And I went super aggressive. But people, when they get off of work, when they, they finish with that nine to five grind, the reason why social media is so popular is people want to escape reality. And that's what social media allowed them to do, to escape reality, not to face their problems. So... People live vicariously through other people that's lying their butts off on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, all that other crap. They live vicariously through them like, oh, I wonder what that life is like. Like, if you notice, the real the real channels that is 100% focused on, and I'm talking about in YouTube, real channels that's 100% focused on the betterment of people instead of showing off their channels don't do as well as the people that's doing the latest uh dance the latest prank the latest whatever anything that doesn't have to do with actual self-betterment or the betterment of people their channels don't do as well as the people that's just giving off a lot of nefarious things that people could do to forget about life um i mean this video it brought a lot of a lot of things to to fruition and truth and but those were the two main things that I seen. People want to escape life and 
like Alex, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give y'all a insider quote here. When Alex, when I met Alex, Alex net worth was a whole sixteen thousand dollars. So. Understand. I didn't go nowhere with Alex. Now, when me and Alex would go out, meet, and have, you know, lunch or whatever, we never went to any place where Alex couldn't spend $16 to get his food. Because trust me, Alex looking for the lowest prices. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't go, <laughs> we didn't go to a place where Alex had to spend more than $16 until Alex had a net worth of over a quarter million dollars. Over a quarter million. Y'all going to three, four, and five-star restaurants, and y'all only got $20 in the bank. You know, it's funny. Go. Go was, ahead, go it, ahead. was it last year we went to Texas to Brazil? Yeah. And when I stepped in there, like, I had known I didn't go to fancy restaurants because I was like, oh, shoot. Like, I felt heat. I was like, man. I was like, this is, do I fit in here? <laughs> like, man. And, and, and yeah, so that that's the thing. So we we are still in the grind. It don't matter what my net worth is. I'm not here to show you. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look at what I do. Y'all see behind me. This is my office. A whiteboard. I still got that uh, violation notice from one of my properties up there. But, um, a whiteboard. A couch. Uh, you can see right here. A TV. This desk. That's all. That's all I'm showing. I'm not going to the driveways i'm not showing you some million dollar mansion i'm not you know take you hey fly with me on a private jet and so you can escape life no i want people directly in reality face your problems look in the mirror and fix the situation you're in so if you once you get not if when you get to those uh multiples of money and you want to go do that and you can afford to do that more power to you I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money on various things. We're here to teach you how to get the money to do, and then you and then try to show you what's best for you. But it's up to you to do whatever you want to do. I don't, you know, I don't want to live your life. I just want you to have a better life than the situation that you're currently in. And that's the message I think that he is trying to push is social media for a large part is just garbage for the people that don't have nothing. Why show this stuff off? I mean, you're just building jealousy and envy. That's all you're doing. But the people that jealous and envy, they just they just love to be jealous and envious. So they just keep scrolling through. Yeah, yeah, let me subscribe to him and look at more stuff that he's doing. Not realizing all the time that I'm spending looking at your life, I could be working on my life, making it better. So I can do some of those things that you're faking like you're doing, but you're really not doing. Because that's all social media is, is is a whole bunch of fakers. I saw in, um, and I'm going to wrap this up. I saw that there's a studio that's in, I think it's New York or LA. I can't remember. And a guy got a warehouse. And then he has a fuselage, just the inside compartment of what looks like a private jet. And it's just sitting on the floor. And then content creators rent out the space and then sit inside the private jet and they take videos and pictures like they're firing private. And he's making twenty to fifty thousand dollars a month renting out that space to content creators to do that. Everybody, everybody is faking, but people cause love to consume non-reality. And that's that's what I think the whole genesis and the whole revelations of what he was saying in that video is. People need to wake up and realize that you're consuming somebody else's life and you could be partaking and doing something to better your own life. Yeah, I agreed with this video 100%. I really like the points he made on just people not realizing that a lot of the things that people take for granted or take it, uh, yeah, take for granted, they're just luxuries. And in the reality, of the world they should not be afforded to those that are not in the grind that are not that have not made it not even in the grind that have not made it like he said he stays in bed till 11 a.m scrolling through tiktok but he's rich and he's already made it like he's probably 
he probably has everything running for him at that point. You know, on you know, he probably has managers in place. He doesn't have to do the work anymore. But for those that are in the grind trying to make it, you're just killing time. And that time is valuable. And that's why I wanted to make that point of it's so easy. It would have been so easy for me to go a whole year of just chilling out, not doing anything. But I actually dedicated it towards trying to get more properties. And I was able to accomplish that because I stayed focused and just kept at it, kept at it. But it could have been so easy for me to just be like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it eventually and just slacked off the whole year. And that's how quick time can go by and people don't realize you can just burn through opportunity. And Alex, and it's it's funny, how many times do you call people and they say, oh, yeah, I'm just scrolling through TikTok. I'm just scrolling through IG. I'm just scrolling through Reels. Yeah. And then the, the crazy thing is, like, I know you get text messages from everybody. I know a lot from me. But every message... Every text message, I believe I send you, I might send you one funny one probably like every six months. Yeah. But all the ones that I send you is about people talking about bettering themselves, talking about different concepts and things like that. It's not just, oh, hey, look, look at these people. You know, of course, me, I, you know, I like kids. So if I find one that's talking about kids, I'm always going to send that one. But besides that, it's all about bettering and improvement. But I see so many people that are struggling that oh, I need money, oh, I'm broke, I'm hurting. And then that's why I always have the mantra, if you broke and you sleep at night, I don't feel sorry for you because there's so many opportunities out here, but you choose to spend your time scrolling through TikTok. You spend your time worrying about the gossip that's on Facebook. You spend your time worried about if uh, when the next time one of these social media influencers is going to be on a private jet and they're going to another, another island or another vacation destination. How about you get off your butt and grind so you can get on a vacation period. That's all I got. I'll, I'll keep going down the rabbit hole if I keep talking about this. With all that being said, guys, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.